All right, question of the week in Blex Review number 10. Our question is, which chamber of the heart is responsible for pumping blood to the rest of the body? Is it A, the left atrium, B, the left ventricle, C, the right atrium, or D, the right ventricle? One more time, which chamber of the heart is responsible for pumping blood to the rest of the body? So I'll give you a few moments to work on this and then we'll go ahead and head over to the explanation. All right, so in the community tab, I asked y'all which chamber of the heart is responsible for pumping blood to the rest of the body. And we had a great turnout. There are 23 votes. And so 30% said the left atrium, 35% said the left ventricle, 17% said the right atrium, and then 13% said the right ventricle. And then 4% said, I have no idea, how can I sign up for tutoring with you? So if that was you, if you were part of that 4%, stay to the very end so I can explain to you how you can sign up for tutoring with me. And then thank you to the three people who liked this post. All right, so let's go ahead and cover this material. So first, we need to have an understanding of the structures. I would encourage you to click on the link here above if you need a review over these different structures. So right here we have our right atrium, we have our right ventricle, we have the left atrium, and then we have the left ventricle. Now it's very important that we understand that the atria, which is these two here, are the chambers that receive blood receive. So blood is going to come back into our superior and inferior vena cava, and it's going to fill up this right atrium. And then it's important that we understand that the ventricles are the discharging chambers. They discharge blood. So my right ventricle will end up filling up, and then this is going to discharge blood. Same thing with my left ventricle. It is going to discharge blood. So it's very, very important that we have an understanding that the atria receive blood and the ventricles discharge blood. So with that information, we can go ahead and get rid of the left atrium and the right atrium. So one more time, which chamber of the heart is responsible for pumping blood to the rest of the body? That leaves us with the 50-50% chance of picking either the left ventricle or the right ventricle. So let's go ahead and see which one is the correct answer. So blood is going to fill up into our right atrium. It's going to move through our tricuspid valve and it's going to fill up our right ventricle. From this right ventricle, blood is going to discharge into my pulmonary arteries. There's the word pulmonary. What does that mean? That means lungs. So my right ventricle is responsible for discharging blood to the lungs. Now, when blood comes back through the pulmonary veins, it's going to fill up my left atrium. Then it's going to move through my bicuspid valve and it's going to fill up my left ventricle. From this left ventricle, blood is going to push through the aortic valve to the aorta and through the rest of the body. The aorta is that major artery. So one more thing I want to note before we head over to the answer. Check out this muscle tissue. Our myocardium of the left ventricle is much thicker than the myocardium of the right ventricle. Why is that? Well, because the left ventricle is responsible for pushing blood to the rest of the body. So it needs to have a thicker muscle tissue so that it can discharge all the blood that is inside the left ventricle to the rest of the body. And then the right ventricle isn't necessarily going to need so much myocardium to push the blood only to the lungs. So hopefully that makes sense in terms of why the myocardium is thicker on the left ventricle. So the correct answer here is our left ventricle. So 35% got this answer correct, the left ventricle. Now, if you are the 4% who are interested in tutoring, you can email me at wellknownreyes at gmail.com and you can check with my availability. I currently have a waiting list. So if you do not mind waiting, I would be more than happy to work with you directly. Now, if you're in a hurry and need to learn this information as soon as possible, I would encourage you to check out my Patreon page where I currently have the cardiovascular review course up and running. It is available. It has study notes for you to fill out as you go through the course, as well as the ability to label the structures of the heart as you go along with the video course. Take advantage of this available resource if you haven't already. All right, y'all have a wonderful week ahead, and I will see y'all in the next question of the week. Y'all take care.